Photoshop CC includes a totally new modern experience, including new features and updates for all designers. Whether you're creating mobile apps, websites, user interfaces, or traditional 2D design, as well as creating 3D content, it's really going to give you that creative flexibility that you'd want as a designer. The first thing you'll notice is that we've updated and streamlined the UI so it's clean and consistent. And then you can customize the toolbar to just show the tools that you use most often with access to additional tools just to click away. Next, and probably my favorite feature, is the ability to favorite fonts for easy access at any time. Or you can sort by serif or sans serif or even by similarity, really making finding fonts fast. You can now also open and place SVG files. And you can add assets directly from the Layers or Brushes panel just by dragging them into Creative Cloud Libraries. And you can easily pull all content from a document at once into a library. And you can now search across multiple libraries and search Adobe Stock right from within Photoshop. Artboards have been updated and now it's even easier to add or duplicate and each one can have its own guides and grids and you can easily isolate to just show the layers of the artboard that you're working on or you can lock the artboard into position. And you can turn off auto nesting to prevent layers from automatically nesting into or out of an artboard. Updates have been made to Adobe Camera Raw where you can actually remove and add atmospheric haze. There's also a new bird's eye view feature and support for the latest cameras and lenses. Design Space Preview is a new dedicated environment in Photoshop for web, UX, and UI design. And it has a bunch of enhancements and refinements in this release. You can also access it as a workspace from the workspace menu. So you definitely need to check it out. The exporting experience delivers faster performance and better compression for all file formats. It actually supports sRGB now, metadata, and the ability to export the same assets at multiple sizes. There are also some new apps that integrate with Photoshop, like Adobe Comp CC. There's Adobe Photoshop Fix, which is new, Adobe Photoshop Mix, and Adobe Capture, all which really allow you to create on mobile and then finish on your desktop. Now you can actually go beyond the flat image using 3D models. Just start by creating a human character in Adobe Fuse CC Preview, and then in Photoshop you can apply any pose or animation that you want. You can change the lighting, the perspective, and then composite that character into any Photoshop project from a layout design to video, or even print them with a 3D printer. These are just some of the updates available to you today, and we can't wait to see what you create. Thank <laughs> you.